I want to bring in our front office insider, Bobby Marks, into the conversation. Because, Bobby, can, can you take us inside the team here? From a management perspective, the folks who are actually making the deals, negotiating extensions, how does a team operate when it is for sale? Well, I think for right now, it's business as usual. I think you're looking at, you know, getting ready for training camp that starts next Tuesday. The big question will come when we are talking about an extension for Cam Johnson. He's extension eligible up until October 17th. And as Wo said, this could linger. What happens if there's a big trade out there where maybe you're moving multiple draft picks or maybe you're moving players? You're taking back salary here. So I think for Phoenix's perspective, certainly with James Jones and, and Monty Williams running it, I think you're taking somewhat of a conservative approach because the last thing you want to do is do some type of blockbuster deal, uh, the likelihood that would happen, and now you have prospective buyers out there maybe getting a little bit more cold feet. I don't see that happening right now just based on James's background, more of a conservative approach here, but I think certainly we'll learn a lot in the next three weeks regarding Cam Johnson. If there's no Cam Johnson extension, I think that's certainly an indication that this Suns organization is in a little bit of a holding pattern. Hmm. Yeah, and, and I think for uh, Phoenix, this is an organization that, listen, Robert Sarver has had significant overtures through the years to sell that team. He obviously uh, has not wanted to do that, but I think you can expect uh, the value that you might see with Forbes and some of those places that rate uh, team values. I think you'll see the purchase price uh, maybe significantly exceed that. I think there's a lot of factors that make Phoenix uh, a franchise, both obviously the Suns and the Mercury, um, that is attractive potential owners. You know, big money out of Los Angeles owners who would have L.A. ties. Obviously, it's a short flight away. And you talk to league executives uh, through the years. They have always seen Phoenix with the right ownership that this is a sleeping giant hmm. in free agency. That's a warm weather, western, cl uh, western climate uh, uh, team and that they should be with the right ownership, a team that can go out in free agency uh, and, and be competitive with bigger market teams. You know, you saw the Colangelo years prior. There were, you know, back to the Kevin Johnson, Charles Barkley days where the team was obviously very good. Players like playing in Phoenix. That changed for a significant period of Sarver's tenure. And obviously they got fortunate in the draft with Devin Booker, uh, DeAndre Ayton, and of course Chris Paul wanted to trade the Phoenix because it made right. sense uh, for him where he was in his career. The team was ready to win. And don't underestimate the impact. And Bobby mentioned uh, Monty Williams, James Jones. You know, James Jones was an executive of the year. And Monty Williams just signed a new uh, long-term extension as coach. And having those leadership pillars in place, you know, I think that gets that helps get the Suns through this transition until they get to a, a new ownership group. Bobby? Yeah, Malika, I look at it as uh, this team for sale right now has the most appeal as of any team I've seen in the last 15 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. I think it just checks the boxes on everything. You inherit James Jones in his executive of the year, Monty Williams, uh, coach of the year. You basically have a clean slate moving forward. You've got all your draft picks. You've got Devin Booker, uh, DeAndre Ayton, certainly Chris Paul for another three years. This is a championship team. This is not Minnesota where you're kind of coming in, maybe stripping it down. I was in Brooklyn in 2010 with Mikhail, Mikhail Prokhorov. That was a 24-win team. So whoever it's going to be is coming in, walking into a championship organization already what's on the court. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.